Okay, for part B, we now want to reflect this triangle across the y-axis, which means if A is 4, 4, then its reflection is going to be negative 4, 4. If B is 6, 6, its reflection is negative 6, 6. And if C is 7, 4, its reflection is negative 7, 4. When we reflect across the y-axis, we notice that the y-coordinate of all our points stays the same, but the x-coordinate needs to be flipped to the opposite sign so that we can move to the other side of the y-axis. So for in positive x-land, we want to move to negative x-land, meaning that the ordered pairs x, y are transformed into negative x, y. A double prime is negative 4, 4, B double prime is negative 6, 6, and C double prime is negative 7, 4. Next, we want to give new coordinates if we translate our triangle to the right by one unit and down by three units. If we do that, so we take point A, we want to move it to the right by one unit and down three. So right one, down three, we get five one. Point B, right one, down three, we get seven three. Point C, right one, down three, we get eight one. We notice that each ordered pair, so A corresponds to J. The X value is moved up by one, and that's because we moved to the right by one unit. And the Y value is decreased by three, and that's because we moved down by three units. And that same pattern holds for B and K and C and L. So when we translate, Then each ordered pair, since we're translating in this one to the right by one unit, the x values increase by one, down three units, our y values decrease by three. D has the ordered pair, let's see, five comma one, B, not B, but we're based on B. E, which is based off of B, has the ordered pair now seven comma three, and F, which is based off of C, has the ordered pair 8, 1. Lastly, we are going to rotate our triangle. To do this, let's get rid of all the other polygons we've created. Okay, we want to rotate our triangle. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, which means we're going in this direction, and we're going to end up from quadrant one into quadrant two. Since A is four to the right and four up, then its new position is four to the left and four up. Okay. C is seven to the right and four up, which means C is now going to be seven up and four to the left. And then lastly, B.